Hello everyone, it's Jess Hearts and today we are building a floating witch's house and shop. But before we go anywhere, hello new subs, welcome. We got a bit of an influx of subs, which is lovely, I will say. I don't do speed builds in the vanilla sense. I'm a bit of a different person with my speed builds. I also like to do themed builds, like maybe from a movie, TV show or game, every couple of videos or so. And with how I said I do different kinds of speed builds, I love editing random crap or the quote YouTube poop into my videos one because it's fun to do and two a lot of people have said they find it funny and different and if that's not something you're really into you're more into the chillax version of speed builds I occasionally do those like the Edith one and that's purely because it was such a long video to do and such a long story to tell but overall I do my own version of building videos I suggest you do stick around though I'm a pretty friendly person and I do monthly ish build challenges also and a little update there my tiny build challenge has been put on hold uh, a bit due to the Edith video so feel free to send in more builds or your first build if you want the shell is up on the gallery and my ID is Jess Hearts but I'm gonna talk about what we're doing now so pretty much we're setting up the bases for all of the levels of this build and I will explain later on how I did that but I think it's kind of explanatory how I did it here but yeah my idea was pretty much I wanted a floating build and I wanted to do a witch's cottage or a witch's shop I'm pretty sure there's a mod now that enables you to sell the potions for an actual price because I think they came out not costing anything which is kind of annoying an oversight I presume but yeah oh yeah the part one of the Edith video has over 12,000 views and that's pretty insane I'm sure a lot of people just came to watch that to see how I built such an amazing thing in Minecraft like those trees be feather thin looking blocks man now nah, that that whole thing was super funny I won't lie a subscriber told me how a journalist from PC gamer had wrote about the build and me and it was so poorly done it was amazing saying how it's never looked so blocky and brilliant like you can for real tell they ain't never played the sims on Minecraft I won't lie I got half tempted to build the finch house in Minecraft but honestly fluff that I can't be heck doing that but yeah, how's everyone's weekend been? I swear the week just gone went so damn quickly, especially since Realm of Magic came out. What's everyone's opinion so far? I haven't given it a huge amount of gameplay, but I adore the realm and the build and buy objects. I quite like the Kaz items too. I've only seen Glimmerbrook in winter covered in snow and it might just be me and maybe I've been playing way too much Minecraft with the pretty shaders for a bit too long, but it does look a little bit rough around the edges to me. I've also found a couple glitches where the boots in one of the outfits colors the boot the same color. It's all glitchy in that area and a hand accessory acting weird. You know, the usual. It's going to come with glitches as always. I know the Sims community be wilding about everything this week, so it's been a bit hectic. But honestly, I so far love this pack at face value. I'll have to give it a fair shot gameplay wise. First though, for a full opinion, I did make a family to play with and that was a bit of fun. But I also installed the mod where you can move your sim around with the WASD keys. And I won't lie, I had so much fun with that. It's such a different experience. It was like playing an old fashioned MMO, but then I ended up just getting Fable Anniversary because I've been wanting to replay those. And speaking of that, Fable is one of my favorite series of all time. Minus the fourth one, we don't talk about the fourth one. But if you know the franchise, you know there's magic in the game and I'm thinking this would be the perfect pack to recreate some of those builds from Fable in. So let me know if you'd like to see that. And if you haven't played them, the first one that's been remastered is up on Steam and the others are available on Xbox. I'm not too sure if they're available on PlayStation though. Anyway, back to the build. So pretty much we're laying down the groundwork down below and the terrain I wanted to make a little waterfall underneath the um, main floating structures of the build because I felt like just having a flat bit of terrain there kind of didn't look too good so I thought having that water underneath would give it even more the illusion I guess that it's floating well it is floating it's not really an illusion but to make it more obvious I guess I really love the levitating aspect of this pack it's a very cool addition appearances wise and when I was looking through all the new debug items I did come across these huge pointed boulders and I was like oh 
dude, I gotta use those and make some cool as floating builds. And at the end of the video, I do end up putting in some floating objects in the sky just above the house to really sell the floating aspect. Like they do actually move up and down in the air and it's really, really cool to see. And I have gotten a lot of questions on how I made this bad boy float. And it's probably not completely clear how I did that in the video, but obviously if you place down a room on the ground and try to scroll it up, a foundation will appear unless you place a second, third or fourth floor. So when you've got one of those floors placed, you can move it off of the ground floor room and scroll it up so it's pretty much floating mid-air. It's super easy, but it looks kind of difficult at first glance. All in all, I think this took me a tiny amount of time and not gonna lie, I needed a smaller build after Edith. I was so over it. Don't get me wrong, I love the house and the game, but I devs don't want to play that for a while because it drowned my whole being for a little bit. But now it's time to let October and the creepiness take over. Some of you might have guessed, but I am in fact Australian. So we don't really celebrate Halloween and it's not fall or autumn here at the moment. I think it's spring right now, so like flowers be popping and the baby animals be dropping. I can't believe I just made that joke. So it's pretty much the opposite down here. But if you're like me, it's spooky time all year round, unless it's Christmas. I go nuts during Christmas. I love it so much. <laughs> Do you guys celebrate holidays? I remember seeing a couple Christmas lights go up around July in the town over from mine. And I was like, oh, whoa, the whole Christmas and July thing is interesting to me. I understand why people do it. I just hadn't seen people do it before. Oh, yeah. And before I forget, a lot, and I mean a lot of people have been asking me to recreate the house from The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. And I'm like, do you guys really want me to? Because... I feel like an influx of people have probably already built it or yet done it. Or do you guys want me to do that insanely detailed Jess Hart's twist? Let me know. I have so many ideas about what I want to build in October. I wanted to build the house from Practical Magic. It's one of my favorite movies and books of all time. I'm actually giving it a read at the moment. I'm kind of weird with books though, because as a thing, I'll be cycling like two or three at any given time and I'll just cycle through them all like every other night. But other builds I wanted to to do was the town square from Halloween Town, a bit of nostalgia there. My brother actually asked me to build the Spencer Mansion from Resident Evil and I have a few others on my sleeve but I'm thinking about them all and how I do them um, at the moment. Are you excited for October or are you already over it? Like we don't have pumpkin spiced anything down here so I'm not really on that vibe. I won't lie with all the packs releasing so closely together and the whole university leak thingy coming out of the woodwork it's all just happening so dang fast. One minute sims be witches the next are doing a keg stand. It's nuts. I can't keep up at all. I don't know what to build <sighs> but I do have an idea for the next video and it's very different to what I normally do. Would you guys like something a little bit different or would you like another witchy build because I've got an abundance of them built already. Anyway, let me know. But right now we're doing like the shop part of the build and I just cluttered a heap of stuff up that I would imagine would be in here. So like herbs, we got some plasma packs in there for some vampires. You know, you got to help out your fellow occults. Um, some bookshelves, a lot of potions on the shelves and everything. Thing. I love that new cabinet with like the little glass um, curved window or doors there. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I think a lot of people have been calling it Art Nouveau style and as somebody who was like very much into gothic architecture during college, like I studied that. Um, I didn't even, I probably slept through the lectures to do with Art Nouveau, not gonna lie. I fell asleep so often in those lectures and it's not because I was bored, it's just because my teacher was like so good at like storytelling. He's actually a really well-known artist and a little bit famous. Um, Wayne Brooks was his, is his name, not was, he's not dead, whoops. <laughs> and um, yeah, he's such a good storyteller, but if you want to see some really cool like artist stuff artist stuff really cool paintings I suggest you look up Wayne Brooks he's really really cool Ugh. oh my gosh guys I'm sorry for going on so many tangents though I feel super hyper today this morning we had no milk left so I couldn't have my normal cup of tea but there was iced coffee in the fridge so I was like hmm I'm gonna just use that in my coffee to act as a milk so I made the normal cup of coffee with like two big teaspoons of ground up coffee in it then I poured the coffee chill in on top of it and it tasted very intense but I needed that 
boost in the morning. That's when I watch my Philly D for my little daily dose of the news. But I finished it pretty quickly and the whole morning I've been bouncing around the flipping house like a crazy person. I am waiting for the crash. I'll either be up all night or passed out at seven. There will be no in between. <laughs> I don't usually drink coffee unless I gotta work on a video super late because it gives me that kick. But I'm very much regretting my concoction this morning. <sighs> Oh yeah, what did you guys get up to on the weekend? I went out for another friend's birthday and it was a lot of fun. I made a few new friends and caught up with some old ones, which is always so sweet. But I am so dang keen for this weekend. My rents are going away for two nights for a little getaway. So I am house-sitting my two dogs, Milo and Polly. They are gorgeous and Milo is growing into even more of a fruit loop than before. Like seriously, he's so full of energy, it's insane. And my BF is also coming down to house-sit with me, so it's going to be a hell of a weekend. I reckon. Also, can people please give me ideas for what to make for dinner? And as a tip, I hate celery and I love chicken. I know we want to go out one night, but need ideas for the other night. If you've got any like fave recipes or food that I should try, let me know. I'm a whiz in the kitchen, so I'm, I'm down for a challenge. But yeah, here we see the finished product of the house. I hope you guys enjoy this video and this build. It's available up on the gallery and my username is Jess Hearts. But I gotta get going, so subscribe if you think pineapple does belong on pizza. And like this video if you think I'm daft. See you guys in the next video. Bye!